now we have completed our pagination logic now whenever i click on this i should be getting the details okay whatever i am having the data inside the database i should be getting that data now if i just come to second page whatever data i am having inside the database that is been displayed in the second page so here in the same way whenever i click on first page first page data should be displayed then again when i click on second page second page data should be displayed and when i click on third page third page data should be displayed and also this should be active in whichever page i am having that page should be active okay now we are just going to write the on click event whenever i click on this only then i have to change this data before that let me just decrease the image width i'll just come here inside style.css let me just give here 70 and also height i'll be giving 70 okay because my images are very large I'll refresh this one okay now here I'm having this images okay. now inside script.js okay we have already written this pagination function okay we have done all these things now inside this document wherever we have written this document ready function now inside this we have written this on click for submit button okay whenever I click on submit button the data should be added inside the database now here where it is ending now here I'm just going to create one function on click event let me just write here on click event for pagination now below this i'm just going to write the same thing now here i'm just going to create the document now inside my document whenever i click on this okay i'm just writing here click let me just write here proper spelling whenever i click on this i just want the pagination should be increased okay whenever i come to first page first data should be displayed again when i click on second button second data should be displayed okay so here inside this inside this ul list we have given the class as pagination inside this ul we are having this li inside this li whenever i click on this buttons okay anchor tag inside anchor tag we are having this previous button we are having this one two three four numbers and finally we are having this next so inside ul i have just given the class as pagination inside ul i am having li inside li i am having this anchor tag so i have to access this anchor tag so let me just copy this pagination class and here after this i'm just going to write here ul inside this ul i just i am just accessing that pagination class inside this i am having li inside li i have to access anchor tag so we are just writing that one then third parameter will be our function and inside this i am just going to pass here event okay to prevent the default setting of the form now here i will be writing this event dot event dot prevent default okay so that i will not be having any resetting of the form now once i am done with this now here let me just create one variable and here i'll be giving the variable name as page num okay you can give any variable name now inside this i just want to access whichever number i click that particular data i have to access so which data this particular number data let me just come here now whenever i click on whenever i click on first button first button data i am accessing so here i am just writing here this dot data and inside this i am just passing one parameter that is nothing but page okay now inside anchor tag we have already given this one let me just come here now here inside this we have already given the data page whenever i click on that particular number that data that number should be displayed for me so here i am just telling that inside this page number i am just storing whatever button i click i am just storing that page number now below this now this value i have to access okay whenever i click on the current page now suppose this is the current page first is the current page now i have to access this one so using this index.php using this current page id i'll just copy this one and inside script.js i'm just going to access that one now here i'll be writing this now i have to access the value whatever i am having so here i'll be writing value and this particular value okay whichever page i click i have to access that value now here i'll be having three datas okay one two and three now whenever i click on third button okay that third number will be stored here inside this page number whichever button i click and that page number will be passed as the value to this current page okay whenever i click on these buttons i have to access the data of that particular page so we have to call this function again whenever i click on this i have to call this function and the data related to that page will be displayed i'll save this let me just come here i'll refresh this one now whenever i click on this first page i'm having this first data whenever i click on second page you can see it's not working still we have to work on that now here below this let me just write one alert i'll just write here one 
I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now whenever I click on this first, okay, it is not working. Alert is also not working. Now as you can see, I have just written this alert and here I have just called this get users function. Now which means that whenever I click on button, this user should be displayed and also I should be getting the alert. But here in my project, whenever I click on this, it is not working. And even when I click on the second button, it is not working. I have just refreshed this one again it's not working okay even you will be facing this issue even if your code is correct maybe sometimes it is not going to work so the only solution what i found as i already told you before you just change the folder name and wherever you are having this one okay wherever you are having this url you just change that one okay i'm just going to change this one now i'm just going to change the folder name let me just check after changing the folder name and also inside style.css okay everything is fine let me just change this one now i have just changed the folder name and also here inside this url let me just come on top and here i have just given here one okay i have not done anything i have just changed the folder name and here wherever i am having url i have just given the folder name okay i have just done only two things here i'll just close the left panel now here let me just open that one i'll just come to index.php i'll just copy this file path And here I am just going to paste and from here I will be removing this one. Okay, now you can see here I am having this table and also my images size is reduced here. In my previous file it was not applied. Now whenever I click on this first page you can see it is working. Okay, sometimes it happens you just change the folder name and it will work. Again when I click on this you can see it is working. And second data whatever I am having inside the database that is being displayed here. And these images are not displayed because I have deleted these images from my uploads folder. So this has not been displayed for me. Now again inside this third page you can see the third data is been displayed here. Now totally let me just come here first page. Now here I am having only five images is been displayed. So from my database I will be deleting all the data which is not having the images. So let me just come to user data. User table. Now from here the first data let me just come to first page and Suresh Sima Rima Ria let me just keep that one Suresh Sima Rima Ria and Rita and I will be deleting these images okay I will just delete this data okay which is not having the images I am just going to delete that one so that later on whenever we will be inserting we will be having the image as well. Now here. I will just refresh this one. Now you can see dynamically I will be getting only two buttons here. The first button and the next button. You can see the next button. Let me just remove this alert from here inside script.js. I will just remove this alert. Now instead of this whenever I click on this first button in whichever page I am residing that page should be active. Okay so for that here we are just going to add some of the code. Now here I will be writing this dot parent first i'll be writing and then i'm just going to explain you this one okay where i have to add and from where i have to remove that one and here i'll be writing siblings inside this i just have to remove the class remove class and i just have to remove the active class i'm just removing active class i'll just copy the same line and from here i just want to add the class so i'll just remove this one and here i'll be adding now what this is telling is now inside this one okay now whenever i click on this first button this should be active now first is residing inside my anchor tag okay inside this anchor tag i'm having this first though so the second number will be now here i'll be having first page number then i'm having second page number so one and two are siblings okay one and two are siblings and these are residing inside anchor tag so their parent is this li okay their parent is li and this anchor tags are their siblings so their parent is li let me just comment this one now here inside this i'm just telling that wherever i'm having the siblings now if i'm having only two pages and i am inside second page from the sibling i have to remove which means that from first page i have to remove this active class okay now if i am inside that particular class inside that parent itself in whichever button i have clicked and for that i just have to add this active class let me just come here i'll refresh this one okay now it's not working so let me just come here now wherever we have added this one Okay, now inside this anchor tag, we are having this LIs. Okay, here I have just not given the space. Let me just give one space and also here I'll be giving one space. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. 
now you can see the first page is active so i am having this one now as soon as i come to the second page now you can see whatever data i am having inside the second page that is been displayed to me and the second page is active and that from rest of the siblings it has been removed again when i click on this previous you can see i am redirected to first page now let me just add one new user here L let me add here uh, let me add here ria ria i am already having let me add my name khanam khanam at gmail.com i'll add one mobile number i'll select one image let me select this butterfly open submit now you can see this image has been added and the data is been displayed and here i am having this second inside this second page two data is been displayed again let me just come here let me add another data here let me add some random data now submit now you can see this cart i am having again only two data i'll be adding so that we will see the third button will be appearing here let me add here bbb submit now you can see this is been there now now here when i insert the ninth data the third button will come by itself okay we are not going to add any buttons dynamically the buttons will be appearing now here let me just write here ccc submit now you can see the third button has come by itself okay i have not added now the my previous button is disabled and we have already seen the logic how to disable this button now next when i click on the second button you can see the second data is been displayed when i click on third button the third data is been displayed and the next button is disabled now when i click on previous button here i am having this data okay this is how we are going to add the logic of the pagination and also we have created we have seen everything how to create functions how to click how to display the data everything we have seen we are going to work on this edit button update button delete button now we are going to see one by one how to update the data how to view the data how to delete the data and also how to search the data okay we are left with four things editing updating deleting and searching okay now we are done all these things we have just created this model we have done all this table pagination logic we have written entire thing now now one by one we are going to see the steps editing profile deleting the data and viewing the data